Judging from how quickly this vehicle blew up on that first shot, I don't think this is going to go well. But anyways. Oh. Oh. That one hit. And we're done. What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with more Scrap Mechanic and today we are looking at some awesome things we can do with the Challenge Parts mod. In Multiplayer Monday, we showed the ball spawner from the Challenge Parts mod and of course it's a really cool device that allows you to spawn in that ball from Challenge Mode and then of course, you know, we can do whatever we- oh, oh shoot, oh, oh shoot, oh. There we go, perfect. But of course, it lets us spawn in that ball and we can, you know, push it with the hammer or in the case of Multiplayer Monday, have them go down a hill in a huge avalanche. But today, I figured instead of looking at the ball spawner, we're actually going to look at the other spawner, which is this spawner here. And it's the explosive crate spawner. And that was awesome. It spawns explosive crates, large explosive crates. Now, combining that... With a few other things, I was able to make something that I think is pretty awesome, and that is this auto turret here. So this combines the Intelligentia mod with the Explosive Crate mod, and this one block here, the Burster block from Mini's mod pack, and of course, creates an infinite ammo turret. Now, it's uh, it's activated, so it's tracking us, but it does have, I think, a 10 second activation time, range of 500 blocks, and it'll pretty much just track the closest player and shoot infinite Explosive Crates at them. Um, which, you know, I mean, they're kind of, they go really quick, so they seem to go, you know, through the player itself. We'll spawn that there. We'll just stand over here. We'll turn off camera shake for a second, because this is going to get a little aggressive. But you can see, that'll shoot forever, as long as we're within range. And, uh, even if we have a vehicle, nothing is safe. I mean, it's just, it's just insane. The amount of damage that does, and this is just a single turret. We could have multiple turrets. At... Right, so can I, can I get in a... Can I get in my car here? Can I just... Okay. Okay, we gotta time it. We gotta just time it. Okay. Serious? Right, so the only way to actually stop it is to, uh basically go right up in its face and you can see when you get too close to it it'll actually stop shooting so there's a sensor on the front there that does two things it detects not only when the explosive barrel spawns to activate the burster block but it also detects if there's something too close to it and of course if there is something too close it doesn't want to shoot itself and blow up so it actually will stop shooting no matter what but a really really cool turret and i figure what we're going to do is spawn a bunch of them around this track now we're going to modify it slightly so we'll have a remote control block from the mod pack so we can activate them all at the same time and we'll spawn a bunch of them around this track and see if we can even come close to doing a single lap with uh, with this military Humvee here, which is pretty much my go-to vehicle. I did make them pretty easy to hook up, so of course we can just disconnect it completely from the base there. And this OR gate here is actually the only connection that you need to activate the whole thing. So we can just remove this switch and take a remote control block, hook it directly into this OR gate, and now the entire thing is OR gate powered, and we can of course change the activation time so we'll change that to zero seconds the activation time is basically how long before it will start shooting so it gives you the chance if you want to set some up and then run away from them you can do that i'll of course upload this version here to the workshop the original version it is super super easy to use like i said and of course it does have the ai block from the intelligentia mod there the ai tracker as well as the distance detector so if you do want to add yourself to the exception list so the turret won't target you you can just click E on both of those, and now if we turn on this turret, it actually won't track anything because there's no other players on the map. So you could have it set up as sort of a base defense, and you just gotta, you know, put yourself on the exception list for both of those blocks. You can see it's fully timed out, so it's ready to go, and uh, it's not tracking anything. We can, of course, press E. Now it's tracking us, and if we press, I can't, can I get to the, I can't get to the distance sensor. I need it. Really? Right. Well, anyways, if we were able to get to the distance sensor, you are you are frustrating. Excuse me. Excuse. Can I? Can, dang it! It's almost like it has a personality. All right. So we're just gonna put a few of these around the race course, and then we'll have them all remote controlled to a platform here. Now, I don't even think we're gonna make it like anywhere. I don't. I don't feel like we can do a single lap with this. These turrets are really, really good. And, you know, they have infinite ammo. So, of course, I built a rapid-fire explosive barrel launcher before with, like, this extremely long clip that held out the one side. But, I mean, with this, you don't even need that. It's so small and compact, and you can spawn infinite barrels. For example, if you wanted to make a bomber 
you know, before we'd have to have all these bombs strapped up underneath it, but now you could just put an explosive barrel spawner on it and you could have an infinite ammo bomber and that would be pretty awesome. So I think we'll put uh, one turret here. I mean, it'll be able to shoot us only when we're coming down that strip. Maybe we'll put it up a little bit and we'll just weld that to the side of the pillar. That should be good enough. Perfect. All right, we'll just come over here. We'll put another one here. Um, I feel like we should just put one like right up on a really tall pillar there in the middle and that way it can shoot everything coming around this ring i think that'll work just fine so let's just build a nice tall pillar here you know what even better we can actually just take this and we'll put it on one of these modded pistons and uh that way we can actually adjust the height so perfect we'll do that we'll get another turret out that looks pretty good i think i think that'll do shoot everything kind of around in a circle hopefully oh that's perfect that's perfect we've got a great line of sight it's not going to hit its own base it should be able to shoot it when it's coming all the way around this circle no problem uh, and then we'll put another one over in that corner and then maybe another one on that ridge line there. All right, so we'll put another turret right here. Uh, good enough. I mean, some of these turrets might accidentally shoot themselves. The sensor is designed so it won't shoot itself, but, you know, sometimes the explosives spawn weird and do weird things and it's, uh, you know, it happens. All right, that looks pretty good. And that way it'll hopefully be able to shoot us when we're coming around this corner and uh, over those jumps and not shoot its own base. Actually, you know what? I just want to lower that a little bit more. Yeah, that looks good. All right, and then we'll do one more turret and hopefully we'll be able to actually race this. Now, I feel like if we can't do this with the Humvee because it's a driving vehicle, we can use a jet-powered scooter that, you know, has an infinite stabilizer in it. And I think that would be fast enough and have enough, you know, mobility to dodge it no problem. But we'll try it with the Humvee first and see if we can actually race around this course. I mean, the key is going to be not stopping. I think if you don't stop, you might have a chance. All right, perfect. We've got one up here just to, you know, shoot us when we're coming around this corner. This is, there's no way. This is impossible. All right, and then I think we just put the final turret right here and have it elevated, and it should hopefully shoot us when we're coming around, you know, this final U-bend here. All right, so we're just going to set up a really simple transmitting station here. So we've got uh, the orange zero is what everything's set to. We'll hook that switch in. Now, when we press this button, it'll activate all the turrets around this map. Uh, where's the first turret? The first turret is over there. All right, so I think we're going to be covered at this start location. I don't think any of them will be tracking. And we'll see if we can do a single lap around this course, hopefully without blowing up any of the turrets that are placed around the map. All right, so here we go. We're just going to hit this switch. And we're going to jump at the vehicle. Oh, are you serious? Are you... Are we, like, just within range? All right, so we're just within range. Now we're outside of that first turret range, and we'll try and get this done. Here we go. Um, judging from how quickly this vehicle blew up on that first shot, I don't think this is going to go well. But anyways. Oh. Oh, that one hit. And uh, we're done. All right, so clearly the large Humvee did not work. So let's use the smallest car I have. And I feel like this is going to work great because it's going to be harder for the explosive to hit. The problem with the Humvee... Oh boy, this thing can't. Oh, whoa, jeez. Yeah, see, look, harder for them to hit. They're trying to... Oh, it blew itself up. Perfect. I don't know why that just happened, but apparently that, that one just blew itself up. Sometimes, I guess, the burster maybe causes it to explode. I'm not really sure. But you know what? This is going to work. Look at that. We've already made it further. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, that one blew itself up too. That one didn't though. All right, so I've reloaded the world just to respawn those turrets that blew themselves up. Sometimes it happens. I don't know why the explosive is designed to shoot off, but I guess maybe the burster blows up the explosive. Maybe it's set too high. I could lower the burster intensity. I do have them set to 15. It turns out the smallest vehicle is not the way to do it. Neither is the Humvee. So I think we're going to spawn in the super quick speedy scooter. We're not going to fly. We're just going to go really, really fast. See, that turret just shot itself. Or no, it just exploded. There we go. Look at this. Perfect. Look at how fast this is. Explosive. This is how you have to beat it. Oh, that turret blew up its own base. That's amazing. And then just spawned a bunch of explosives. That turret blew itself up as well. That one just blew itself up. I feel like the bursters are definitely set too high. Or maybe there's every... See, it's like... It's what? Or maybe it's the pistons that are screwing it up? I'm not sure what's going on there. They're, they seem to be blowing up on themselves. But I don't really have that happen when I, without the pit, oh, that one just, <laughs> it's amazing. I think it might be the burster settings. Maybe I'll lower the burster settings on all these turrets and try it again.
Alrighty, so I've gone around the entire map and I've lowered all the turret burster blocks from power level 15 to 10. They range from 1 to 20, so I had them at 15 originally. We're going to drop them to 10. Hopefully that's powerful enough to still fling the explosive projectile and we'll activate them all and again use our super quick scooter here to try and uh, just see if they blow themselves up. I'm not sure if they're blowing themselves up. because No, see that one just did it again anyways. It just like instantly shot and blew up because of the burster. I'm not sure if it's because of the scripts or there's too many of them on the map at the same time or what the deal is. That one just did it too. It's actually seemingly worse with a burster speed of 10. That's amazing. We might actually have a better result with 15. No, see that one just did it. Okay, so 10 is definitely not the answer. What about this one? Uh, this is awesome. If you ever want a turret that's a complete dummy turret, uh, use a burster block set to 10 power with an explosive barrel. Oh, that one shot once, shot twice, and it blew itself up. That's amazing. I don't know why the ones on the map seem to want to blow themselves up. I mean, let's check if this one does it. This is the original, of course, which I will upload to the workshop. Now, it has a block set speed of 15, but let's see what happens if it spawns and just explodes, or if it actually shoots. It's got a 10 second cooldown. Now, see, it will shoot infinite amounts, no problem. I don't know why. Maybe it's the other ones because they were welded to the ground, or maybe because they were mounted on pistons. I'm not exactly sure, but oh no, see it just it just dropped a, a barrel there. It just dropped one. The burster didn't work. Maybe for some reason the burster doesn't always work. I'm not exactly sure. This turret design does work quite well, and I'm super excited to use these spawning blocks for other things. But I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. And while you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see y'all next time.